the dredge. The dredge. What is a dredge? What does it do? A dredge works by basically sucking materials off the ocean floor after stirring them up and it deposits them at the top to be searched through and collected for whatever you might have been dredging up, or by digging materials up and bringing them to the top without the suction by either a crane or a basket. There are two types of dredges, hydraulic dredges, such as the cutter suction, swinging ladder, chain ladder, auger, horizontal, bucket wheel, plane suction, or the hopper. Then there's the mechanical dredges, such as the backhoe, grab clamshell, and the bucket line dredge. People can dredge many things, such as sand, clams, and gold. Hydraulic dredges use something called the hydraulic dredge pump, which sucks up the debris made by the rotors or the ladders that spread around and mess up the ground. Mechanical dredges use the backhoe or clamshell or bucket line. They use like basically like it shows a claw or basket to pull up the debris and put it on either a conveyor belt or to put it on the shore. It does not use a pump. This shows them using a rotating blade to help dig up the floor, and then here's the pump that pumps out all the carrying mud and the debris they need into here so they can sort it. It's important to, for them to do this so they can remove silt and other material that help clear out lakes and harbors and stuff that's filling up too much or to get the material out of the ground. It's a natural process. Here's a picture of them, these people, dredging up gold with a hydraulic dredge, using a pump to get it up out of the ground, and then sorting it after. Here they're using a mechanical dredge to pick up clams, shells, and things of that nature. A really strong note. And even if you don't have a big mechanic, mechanical dredge, you can use anything like this person does in Taiwan to get his food. He just uses a laundry basket to pick up a bunch of clams. And that's all there is really behind dredging. So why is dredging important? The question is because you, the dredged up materials researchers can use if they're getting it, or can empty harbors that are filling up with material and help sustain people's ways of life. Any comments or questions, please note below. I'll put all the links to all the websites in the description.